And today we're very pleased and very uh, and great pleasure being invited by English Heritage for us to present a representation of Master Moore using two of our brigades. On the top of the field you'll see in the red coats the Royalist Army deploying and marching on to the bottom of the field by the commentary position, the beginning of the Scottish and Covenant and Parliamentary Army. At the front we have Colonel Hugh Fraser's Dragoons. Uh, Fraser's Dragoons coming from the Aberdeenshire area at the time of the Civil War. The Civil War, as has been said, was really a, a battle over one man, one vote. Parliament believed that every man should have a vote so long as he had land, whereas the King believed he was the one man with the one vote. Master War was one of the deciding points of the English Civil War. It's where the war basically was effectively lost. York was lost by the King. Let's go. Rupert and the Palatinate remonstrating with a Newcastle. Where are his lands? Where are his troops? We'll only see a very strong contingent from the parliamentary armies of the Northern Association under Lord Ferdinand of Fairfax and his son Black Tom Fairfax, the Eastern Association under, under the Earl of Manchester, and also we have the uh, forces of the Scottish Covenant. Here you see being deployed in front of you. just set his troops down to rest, but the, the instructions of Lord Levin and the dynamism, particularly the cavalry commanders in the Eastern Association, saw that things were beginning to turn towards a full pitch battle. Yeah, on the field have we seen Rupert's move brother. There is a, a Royalist cavalry charge there. They are engaging, and it appears now that the parliamentary horse are now making a move towards the Royalist cavalry. <laughs> 